Hello dear watch freaks and welcome back to my channel The Watchbox. If you're new here, my name is Karga and today we're gonna review the Sun Martin SN078Q. A bronze watch and be clear, my first bronze watch ever. But guys, before we start, 82% of my viewers are no subscriber. I would really appreciate it if you guys like my content. Please hit that sub button and stay up to date. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything. and But for me, it's important to see that my reviews help you guys or you like it. So please subscribe and let me know that. An unboxing is not really necessary, but for you guys, the watch came in the well known transport box with a warranty card which is stamped and a little booklet as we know from San Martin. Two spring bars in 24 mils, a sponge like thing to clean your bronze watch, a hand tag and a little screwdriver and before you ask why they don't pack the screwdriver from Submarine Homage this one is a little bit smaller because for those links we don't have spring bars in the end links they are screwed links and also in the buckle you have a screw link inside not a spring bar really nice and well done and good to have always the equipment to change the straps. We need that in a few minutes if we make a little strap show. So then I would say let's have a look. We have a diameter of 44 mils, a height of 15 millimeters and a lug to lug of 51 millimeters. The lug width is 24 mils. It's a big watch, but with the 51 mm lux, it's really nice and easy to wear. For me, I think if you have a wrist above 7 inch or 6.5 inch would be also work very fine. My wrist is 7.5 inch. I will show it later and you will see it fits me really, really nice. The case is made of CUSN8 solid bronze. Also the buckle here on this wonderful leather strap, which is so comfortable. The watch came three days ago and yeah, normally you have leather straps in this thickness. They will take some time to get softer but this one came already so soft and it's an awesome strap. I really, really love this one. As luminous material, they used BGW9 Superluminova and you can choose between two movements here, the PT5000 or the Celita SW200. As you know from other reviewers, the PT5000 is yeah, almost a COSC certified movement. No, it's not COSC certified, but it's on that level. And that's just awesome. And I wanted to test it. Is it really like how the reviewers say that? Yeah, you have three color options black blue and green and as you can see i go on with the green version the processing quality of the case is just fantastic there is no sharp edges as you can see a really really nice brushing all over the case like i said no sharp edges nowhere on this watch really fantastic you have small polished area on the bezel and the numbers on the bezel but they will get anyway patina over the time so it doesn't really matter i think yeah this bezel action is just awesome you have um, a loom pip at the 12 and that's not a small one as you would see on other watches it's a really really big chunky loom pip there I think if they would use C3 instead of BGW9, it would look a little bit nicer. On the 
green version and it would also match more with the bronze i think the case back is screwed and yeah it's i think it's a brightling style case back so it's not easy to open this one um yeah i think i will need another tool to open and see the movement but it's okay what i'm really missing here is the engravings and writings so i will really see like to see a logo or any writings on this case pack it's a big case pack i don't know why they leave that blank it's very well executed like i always say the sun martin watches are done really really great the workmanship is perfect but this details i'm really missing also on the crown no logo there a small minus point here i would say like i said we have a dive bezel with 120 clicks and you guys know i really love the bezel on the sub homage and yeah said it was the best bezel action i've ever had yeah it was till this watch came in my box and Do you hear these clicks, guys? The clicks are so firm and so precise. It's really awesome and almost no backplay here. I know they are improving their bezel actions with every watch, but this one is really great. I mean, it's really better as the sub homage and that's a big big point there it also doesn't sounds like uh you hear it it doesn't sound like a, a whole bezel you know what i mean on the bezels with the ceramic inlay they have a small room inside the bezels so you hear the clicks more or louder and here it's yeah not as loud as on the sub homage but it's so much better it's so satisfying awesome just awesome but let's move on to the review on the 12 you have a applied sun martin writing yeah no not the hexagon logo i really like but i need to say on this watch the name comes really good in position because if you had used the small hexagon logo i think it will go down on the dial yeah because it's a big watch you wouldn't see the logo anymore so the writing is perfectly done and like i said it's applied not printed big point there above the six you have an applied u-boat and that's just fantastic i think it looks so so nice just perfect just a second let me show it to you look at that guys is that not nice and perfectly done really really great then the automatic writing and 300 meters for the water resistance three you find the crown yeah but between four and five you have a date window which is perfectly done and it's enough it's also a black date wheel that's perfect not a white one that would look really ugly in the middle of the dial but there it is perfect and it doesn't disturb all over look from the watch i think the crown has a little wobble but yeah nothing too important it wobbles a little bit but yeah it's okay i mean a little wobble wouldn't hurt but at 300 euros it could be a little bit firmer the workmanship from san martin i know i say it in every san martin review but it's just well done there is nothing i would say just a crown it's wobbling a little bit but all over this watch is just perfect and yeah my first bronze watch it fits perfectly with my wedding ring so it's a rose gold and yeah let's see till it has a lot of patina i think that it will not match anymore but really really nice and to the movement i had it now three days guys and it's in plus 
one second. Plus one second. That's freaking awesome, you know? It's a Chinese movement, which, yeah, is a copy of an ATA or a SW200. But this movement is just a beast. I don't know, and there is no other reviews or long-term reviews about this movement. I hope it holds a lot of years in good condition, but the performance of this movement is just awesome. Really, really great. So I really can recommend the watches with the PT5000. Also movement, guys, high beat movement. 28,800 beats per hour. Perfect. Really perfect. There is no need to pay the extra money for a SW200. So if you have the chance to get a PT5000 watch, just pull the trigger without paying the extras for the Swiss movement, I would say. So what else is to say? All the indexes are applied, as you can see, and gilt frames on the outer rings, like the hands looks fantastic and matches perfectly we have also bronze chapter ring guys this looks so fantastic it's mirror finished i don't know do they also do a patina inside the watch or just outside the watch please let me know in the comments if you know that but it's like i said perfectly done this watch is really really great I don't know if it's a homage, it's from the case shape, it's a little bit like a Panerai, but I couldn't find a Panerai which looks like this. So I think it's more or less design of themselves or they mix two, three watches inside one. If you guys know, let it know in the comments. And yeah, that's it, my first bronze watch. And what should I say? I love it. I ordered a lot of watches on the single days. A lot of San Martins, Proxima and Heim dollars are on the way. So stay tuned. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe guys. And yeah, let a like button, leave a comment. And yeah, since I don't had too many 24 mil straps, I ordered two to it's a dive watch in the end so i ordered two silicon straps from the store its name is utai why i say the name and the shop name for a strap the straps came in one week from china to germany i never had a fast shipment like this in another store i paid here dhl extra money to get the watch earlier and yeah the shop is really great i checked it out again and they have a lot of straps so yeah i leave the comment to this straps and let's have a look and like i said it was very very fast this nato strap came with the watch i don't know why they put it in i don't paid extra money for that i think it was a single day's action to get a strap if you order a watch that's why they put that strap inside that's it i do a little strap show with these three straps and yeah stay healthy and take care guys we see each other on the next review